Today, you'll learn what a healthy blood insulin level is and how to interpret your blood results. I'm Dr. Morgan Nolte, geriatric physical therapist and founder of Zivli, where we help adults reverse insulin resistance for long-term weight loss and disease prevention. Whether you're watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast, please take a moment and subscribe to get new information each week on insulin resistance, weight loss, and disease prevention. Only 12% of adults in America are metabolically healthy. That means that 88% of adults in America have some degree of metabolic dysfunction or insulin resistance. Unfortunately, it's very normal to not have optimal health. And just because you have normal numbers doesn't mean that you have optimal health. One study showed nearly 50% of people with heart disease have normal lipid panels by traditional standards. Often we'll hear of members who are concerned about excess weight or slightly elevated blood glucose levels and express concern to their doctors who dismiss their concern and say it's not too bad or just watch it for now. At Zivli, we advocate prevention before prescription and think it's wise to reverse risk factors before they become disease. To help you become aware of your risk factors for cardiometabolic diseases such as insulin resistance, diabetes, and heart disease, we've partnered with a lab to offer an at-home fasting insulin test and a more comprehensive cardiometabolic panel. Our cardiometabolic panel kit measures fasting insulin, HDLC, triglycerides, A1C, HSCRP, VLDLC, LDLC, and total cholesterol. To order one of these tests, just go to www.zivli.com forward slash testing. You can also use blood work obtained from your doctor, but you may not have all the values discussed here. In the description for this episode, you can find a link to download our health assessment tracker form. If you'd like, you can use this to fill in some or all of your numbers. All of our references are also listed on this form. In the tracker, we've listed the optimal values that you're about to learn. Know that normal values are not always very helpful. There are certainly discrepancies in, in the literature about what is considered normal and optimal ranges. Based on our research, here's what we consider optimal. A fasting glucose less than 90 milligrams per deciliter. A glucose any time after a meal of 110 to 115 milligrams per deciliter. Fasting insulin less than 6 microunits per millimeter. A hemoglobin A1c, which is your average blood glucose over the last three months, of less than 5.5. A high sensitivity C reactive protein or HSCRP, which indicates chronic low grade inflammation, of less than 1. Triglycerides under 100 milligrams per deciliter. VLDL or very low density lipoprotein of 2 to 30 milligrams per deciliter with lower being better. HDL or high density lipoprotein of greater than 60 milligrams per deciliter. Triglyceride to HDL ratio of one to one. This is an indicator of the health of your LDL and research indicates this may be the best biomarker of small dense LDL the best biomarker of cardiovascular disease, and the best surrogate marker of insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. While it's considered healthy to have a ratio of two to one, closer to one to one for this ratio is optimal. The homeostatic model assessment for insulin resistance or HOMA-IR is another way to measure insulin resistance. Ideally, this number is less than one. The calculation for your HOMA-IR is glucose times insulin divided by 405 for the U.S., or glucose times insulin divided by 22.5 for most other countries. The last risk factor we discuss is a waist circumference of less than 33 inches for women and 38 for men. You'll notice that we didn't mention LDL cholesterol or total cholesterol on this list. We'll address why these two numbers go up on a low carb diet and why they aren't good indicators for your risk of cardiometabolic diseases in an upcoming episode. If you want to learn more about how to reverse insulin resistance for long-term weight loss and better health, check out our online course and coaching program, Zibli, where we help adults do just that. Our program is the most in-depth, supportive, comprehensive, and evidence-based on the market. It gives you not only the strategy behind a low insulin and inflammation lifestyle, 
that covers nutrition, fasting, sleep, stress, and physical activity, but also the mindset side of thought and habit change. Zivly includes weekly group coaching, optional one-on-one coaching, and unlimited email support to help you throughout your journey to better health. If you're watching this YouTube video or listening to this podcast live, enrollment for Zivly opens again in January 2023. And there's a link in the description to book a free discovery call to learn more and get any questions that you have answered about the program. There's also a link to join our waitlist so that you're notified when enrollment opens again.